Hey viewers, quick mandatory heads up, my copy of Horizon Zero Dawn was provided to me free by PlayStation. Besides that, my opinions of the game are my own, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Don't pass up these goods. Oh, they have kites, that's cute. Would you like to buy something today? What do we got around here? I might as well see what kind of goods are being sold in this area. Well, Buy me a free sample box as well. The I've got all the best she goods here. Proud. These aren't good. They're We're necessity. The You'll regret hey! Oh no, never mind. It looked like they had blue hair. I was like, hey, they have hair dye. No. They have like little caps. Anything new on you? Not really, although I can buy the Banook Ice Hunter and the Blazin Heavy Armor. Which I, I like the look of the heavy the the Blazin Heavy. It's pretty badass. Oh, I'm so tempted to grab these side missions. Just so I can find out what they are after all this time. Let's do it, viewers. Forgive me for not jumping straight to the main mission again. What's going on here? Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? <laughs> if the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no bucket for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. Okay, what do you what do you need? So which um, no market for a snap maw lens. It's good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day, I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. <laughs> the sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Guys, I... I can do both. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. <laughs> All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well? There are blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap ma lands. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll do both. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait. You drove her off. Snap ma lands. What do you say? I drove her off. <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress. Long leg lens. Oh my god. <laughs> Demand and supply. I'll give you a good price. Uh, two arguing metal buyers in Meridian Village will pay a reward for rare machine parts. Gather a long leg, leg lens and gather a snap maw lens. Well, that's a funny one. I like these two. I'll Spoilers. see what I can do for them. What kind of brutes are you trying to attract? We were agreed. I do the calling, you do the count. I wouldn't say agreed. I don't complain about your yeah. counting other than it takes too long. I wouldn't have to check it twice if you'd stop droning in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Lauren have like, like a country accent? 
Everybody else doesn't have something like that, but I guess because he's a hard worker, he's gonna have something like that. I I, I like it. I I enjoy different accents. And you're going to stand here and do nothing? The sun witnesses. We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No more. Freeholds were warned. You're talking about orders. I'm t talking about lives. Hey, sorry to interrupt your conversation by just being in the area. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. You're that Nora who saved the Sun King. You'd help my family? Oh, but it may be too late. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A Ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of Watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect Freeholds beyond the valley, but... Well, father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. I can handle a, a Ravager or two. So where is his mission gonna take place? Oh, way down here. Well... Well... I have always wanted to check out the Spire. But the main mission... What level is this mission? Level 15? Yeah, okay. We'll do it. Was the assassin really an Oseram? <laughs> Treacherous. <laughs> I like how a lot of things have uh, adjusted because of the mission that we just did. That guy just acknowledged we saved the Sun King. I wonder what he, what he would have said if we had just ran up there like 20 or 30 hours ago. Oh, Anora, who are you? Instead he's like, oh, you saved the Sun King, please help me. Oh my God. All right, so how do I even get up to that area? I guess we'll find out when we double back. I am gonna head to the main mi or this mission first. It's not too far away. I thought it was gonna end up being like way in the forest. They can't even guard a place that's right around the corner. Jeez, times must be rough in Karja. This must be Ronamon. The estate. estate. Kill the machines. You got it. Okay. First. We need to mark how many are here. What is that? We need to get in there and look at that thing. Oh, unknown device emitting an unidentified single frequency signal. Somebody purposely brought these machines here. Oh. shooting my mouth. <laughs> my mouth's taking the shots from me! Oh! Oh, wonderful mount! Charger, thank you! Silent strike! Uh-oh. There are more enemies! Oh, they might not be part of the mission area, though. They're just around. Ow. Stop it! Thank you. I wonder what made these machines attack without warning. Well, we already know. Enter the workshop. Is it this thing over here? Yes, it is. All right. People, I've come to help. Here they come. 
No, no, bad. Stay away. You're not part of the mission area. You're just a bunch of random machines outside of the place. Okay, how the fuck do I get inside? Oh, here we go. Open door. Locked. There must be a way in. Damn it. Maybe around the back? We could climb up, maybe. Hey, look at that. Oh, oh, all right, I guess I'm falling now. Hello. Anything else in here? Guess it's just this. That device is sending out a signal. Could be what attracted the machines. Okay, that should cut the signal. But someone put this here to call on the machines and kill everyone on the estate. Unlocks from the inside. Convenient. All right. Is anyone even alive here? We're gonna have to investigate. Investigate the estate. The door is kind of wide open. That's not a good sign. But there's still people, or at least there's one person left alive. Find the source of the shouting. Yes, I am here! I'm sorry for your loss. I'm gonna be looting your house for a bit. Just do rewards after everything. Alright. I guess we'll save her. Here! And here! Help! Oh, thank you. I didn't really believe anyone was coming for me. I think everyone else is dead. I found Allure. I think someone might have put it here deliberately to draw on the machines. Did your father have enemies? Oh no, Branniman, my brother. At first there was gambling, then stealing, then extortion. He swore vengeance when we kicked him out. Oh. It was Ronamon who begged me to come. He needed the machines cleared out to claim the property. That murderous snake. We can't let him... You can't let me do what, sister? Claim my inheritance? We shared a crash, murderer. Have you no honor? No, I guess not. But I will have this estate. Jesus. When you meet father in the next life, tell him I'm enjoying his money. And as for you, this little device will summon more machines. A lot easier than killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was such instantaneous karma. Holy shit, I love it. Not much use for that <laughs> he was trying to be all evil and shit, like, oh, <laughs> you're going to die after these machines come over here. Wham! What a dick. Killing everybody here just... And forcing us to clear the machines for him, too? Just go about your business. Jeez. I think he's just straight up dead. <laughs> Alright, it's good to know. Sometimes you can summon the monsters with signals. But that doesn't mean you control them. You should have tossed that thing away rather than hold it constantly. I'm glad there are good people like you in the world. It helps to make up for scum like my brother. My father was always generous in his gratitude. A family tradition I would like to continue. Take this. I hope it will help you in your travels. All right. Well, she gave us XP and a reward box. I guess that would be something helpful, but not terribly so.
Okay. Well, I want to check out the spire. Or at least find out if it's something I can even interact with right now. I'm pretty sure I can go up there at some point. But there is a chance that we'll go around the corner and they'll be like, Only the top, topless top of all the top can make it here. And I'll be like, what does that even mean? I think I just went the wrong way. It's hard to tell when the map doesn't fucking load in. Thank you. They should have had a 2D map that can load in instantaneously. And then the 3D portion of the map could come, like kick in. Although I guess to be fair, a 2D map would still have to be a texture that loads in. I just think that a 2D map would be faster than just going, waiting, waiting. Okay, we, we got it. I can see again. Well, so far, no guards to stop me along the way. They praise the spire, so... Well, not the guards, well, they probably do too, but we saw people praising the spire from a distance. So it has to be of some kind of cultural significance. But why? Oh, you know what? I never read those, uh, all those text logs that we got beforehand, especially the one about the Red Maw. I wanted to read the Red Maw one before we killed Red Maw. And it didn't work out in that way. Oh, that is totally machine in design. Or at least old one in design. I don't think the old ones made things like that. I think they made stuff similar, but to actually create the entire structure, I don't know. What the hell is it? Are there even people here? Hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna come here later on. This is too detailed and interesting of an area for it to just be a random spot where there's nobody or no, not even any quests. Like, let's be real. That could very much end up being like, say, some kind of antenna for Zero Dawn or some crap. Or where Hades is. There's, there's got to be something with this. There's no one here. But this has been here for a while. It's not recent, otherwise it wouldn't be kind of getting overgrown a little bit. People just settled around it and said, Yeah, this is a safe idea. Well, okay. Let's get out of here. We have a mission to do. Let me unmark this area. Okay, it's already unmarked, I think. Clear waypoint, there we go. We're finally going to the Curse the Darkness. I don't even remember exactly what we're having to do for it. Aloy undertakes a dangerous mission to infiltrate a secret eclipse base and crash the cult's focus network. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember now. We're going to this place to crash the focus network, so when we crash the focus network, we can infiltrate the Shadow Karja's capital place, capital city. Because otherwise, we'd get recognized in an instant by Hades, and, well, bad things would happen to us. Got you. For, for a while, I've been thinking that we are going straight to the Shadow Karja capital. As soon as we were going to this main mission, but it's actually just, it's just a little outpost. Uh, an outpost we gotta take down So can I do like a charging attack with this thing? Uh, it looks like Broadheads chargers and striders all have the same attack for when we're on top of them They obviously have different attacks when we're not But I want to charge something ram it right in the face. Oh well I'm a little sad there weren't more missions for us to get in this area. We got two little small missions. One of them was really fast. We beat that one instantly. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm just gonna go around then. And then the other one is just a fetch mission. 
we can put those up. Well, at least we can go a scenic route and appreciate nature, because, holy shit. It sucks that uh, YouTube, like, is gonna ruin, or has ruined, any video of Horizon Zero Dawn and the way that it looks. Because there's just so much foliage everywhere and so many details going on that anything you watch on YouTube is going to be artifacted and compressed. So, like, if I spin my camera around really fast in the middle of, like, a ton of grass and shit, it's going to look like crap. The quality just gets really lowered for a bit. And I wish YouTube would do something about that because games are looking better and better, but YouTube videos have stayed the same for a while. I mean, we've gotten 1080p 60fps, and we can even go up to 4K 60fps. But we still need better bit rates for the lower things. I shouldn't have to render a video in 4K and make it like 30 to 50 gigabytes or 100 gigabytes to make a gorgeous looking game not look like crap on YouTube. Although, from what I've seen as I've been uploading the series, it does an okay enough job that you can tell what's going on. It's just highly pixelated and that's the disappointing part. Alright, how many health potions do I have? I have eight. I could craft me some more. Some people have been getting on my case like, Oh, why do you buy potions when you can just make it? Well, because... I ha oh, that's full health potions, whoops. But mostly because they actually take a lot of meat to make. Like right now, with this, I can only make maybe, what? Seven, eight potions? And then I'm out. Then I have to go on a hunting trip. Versus just buying them where I have so many shards. That I can just, I can just buy it right there and then. Uh, this is not where I need to go. But. I'm very interested in where this leads to. Is there something hidden behind the waterfall? I have a thing for things being hidden behind waterfalls. A secret base or just a, a training ground or something. That'd be nice. He's going somewhere. This might just end up climbing all the way to the top of the area. I don't think it actually does anything with the waterfall. Oh, what the? Why didn't you make the jump? Why couldn't you make the jump? Nora? Aloy? Aloy, despite the Nora? Can't believe you've done this to me, Nora. Aloy. I gotta make my way back out there now. God damn it. Actually, we'll see where it puts me, but usually they've been putting me near campfires, and, uh... That's not a, as great. It put me all the way back at the estate! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! I'm so sad. Alright. Well, you know what? This is fine. Because this will allow us to pass by a campfire. And also pick up a metal flower along the way. Oh my lord. My charger just keeps on getting stuck on things. Stop it. I need you. We have places to go. Worlds to save. And flowers to randomly pick up. Uh-oh. Scrappers! Get away from me, Scrappers! Oh god. Where is that flower? It's gonna be probably on the other side of all these chargers. Oh, these are Striders. That's cute. I wonder if there's any speed difference between these things. I felt like, over the broadhead, I felt like it was slower. 
But it could have just been the same size, but because it's bigger, it looks like it's slower. Because relativity, man. Relativity. Alright, where's the flower? Uh... It should be somewhere nearby, and yet I see nothing. Also, hey, a note. Greece is calling. Ancient Greece calls to you. Will you answer? The Acropolis, Mount Lycabatis, Badish, Badish. Wow, I butchered butcher that. The Temple of Zeus. Imagine them, not as the grimy ruins they are now, but the immaculate monuments they were back then. Hollow Vacay is proud to present the Ancient Greece Experience, a historically authentic holographic rendering of antiquity, antiquity's greatest civilization. Exert full autonomy over your ancient Athenian adventure. Stroll hand in hand with a loved one past the Par uh, Parthi uh, Parthenon. Perambulate with so Socrates. Attend the premiere of a play by Aris Aristophanes. The ancient world is yours to discover without leaving your hollow room. Contact us now to discuss rates. Wait, why do you have to get charged so much for... Well, I mean, obviously we don't actually have a... A rate yet, but... If it's virtual... How much would it cost to go there? Uh-oh. And how effective were their holograms? Because we have... This... But I'll be honest, if I had to go to... They had like a virtual vacation and everything was pretty much just purple and blue. Uh uh. Would not worth it, man. That's that's just that's ridiculous. Where the hell is this flower? Is it up there? Ah shit. Well, that'll explain how come I haven't been able to find it. Uh I have to come around from the other side or something. All right, mount. Come over here. I will give credit though. Obviously, the focus is just like a head-mounted device. Yeah, I was about to say that means there's a stalker nearby. I don't appreciate that. Please don't tell me there are two stalkers. I still don't know how to effectively fight stalkers besides just destroy them. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyways, continuing from what I was saying beforehand. Obviously the focus is like a head a head device. So it's kind of like, well, yeah, if you get a, a crappy laptop, you're not gonna be able to run a game at max max settings. And so a head-mounted little device like this probably can't compare to a uh, like, say, a full holographic room dedicated to it. And I guess with that, if it was a full holographic room... Need them soon enough. It would explain the general costs. Or needing to have, like, big rates anyways. Okay, I just went one big circle. Mostly because there was a fucking Ravager or a Stalker there, and I didn't want to mess with it. I'm trying to find a way up. You can, we can, I'm gonna keep making my way around, Charger. Thank you. He <laughs> eventually caught up. How do I ascend this cliff? There's gotta be an entrance from the back. Maybe? Hey, here we go. So there was no solid land to climb, or not climb, uh, to walk on to get up there. I was hoping to find kind of like a land ramp, a little dirt ramp leading up, but we have to climb. And for some reason, there's a merchant up here. <laughs> Hello! Are you a special merchant? 
No, she's not. All right, well, I guess I'll just take your free sample box and move on. Actually, do I have anything that I could sell that I don't care for? Just machine core. And the smooth, smooth ancient charm. We need to keep the watcher lens. But we don't need the grazer lens. Don't need the glint hawk lens. Because we need a we need a snap maw and a long legs lens. Actually, we already have a snap jaw one, right? A snap maw. I have to go look at the quest. Aaron's demand supply. We have the long legs lens. Long leg lens. Wow, that is a tonguey twister. All right, I have to go snap maw. Can do, but not right now. It's so random for her to be up here. A season of mist and mellow fruitfulness. Close boss, uh, bo bosom friend of the maturing sun. Conspiring with them how to load and bless. With fruit, the vines that round the thatch eyes run. To bend with apples the mossed cottage trees. And fill all fruit with ripeness to the core. To swell with the gourd and plump the hazel shells. With a sweet kernel to set budding more. And still more later flowers for the bees. Until they think warm days will never cease. I think I just read a whole lot of nothing. Like, I mean, that obviously has a meaning, but for me, that just read a... I've blanked out. Poems are not my thing. Alright, I saw... Yep, there we go. I saw a rappel point. Gotta take it. Yeehaw! I'm glad she has a rope long enough to scale... something that high. Jeez. All right, let's get a move on. We need to head to a corruption zone, which actually happens to be near the stalker. Shit. And after that, we can continue on. And the only other interruption will be for the metal flower. And maybe this little gate area. There could be people along the way. We're just going to cut through the trees. Hey again, viewers. Thank you for watching through this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know down below in the comments. And as a mandatory reminder, this game was provided to me for free by PlayStation. Thank you very much, PlayStation. And again, thank you, viewers.